All right, Shalom. Let me start by giving all praise, honor, and glory due unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Racha, Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace and mercy to the house of David. Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father, who the world called God. Yahweh Shai is the true name of the Heavenly Father's only begotten Son, who the world ignorantly. <coughs> who the world refers to as Jesus Christ. Baha Shem is in the name of Kaha Kodash is the Holy Spirit. And also Shalom to the 144,000 men that's laboring in this truth for the sake of Yahweh Shem Yahshai. And Shalom to the innumerable multitude, men, women, and children that may be listening in all truth and sincerity. Shalom. It's your brother Kodash coming back here with another video to the spirit and power of Yahweh Shem Yahshai. And the title of the video, Lord willing, is going to be Mass Awakening. Because that's what's going on. It's a mass awakening going on. All right, which is biblical prophecy. All right, and also from the GMS Saul, GMS West Palm Camp, and uh, Shabbat Shalom. All right, so let me get right into it here. This is uh, 2nd Ezra chapter 6, and starting at verse 27, it says, For evil shall be put out, and deceit shall be quenched. All right, let me actually go to the word deceit here. Deceit, it says, trickery, treachery, lying. Okay, so the Lord is putting out. Uh, it says, for evil shall be put out and deceit shall be quenched. The Lord is is uh, taking away these lies, all right, via the truth, man. All right, via the prophets, man, starting with the apostles and the elders on down. Okay, the Lord is putting out all these lies, man. Okay, what it says like the uh, in Jeremiah. God, it says Jeremiah twenty three and verse twenty nine. It says, "Is not my word like as a fire, saith the Lord Yahweh, and like a hammer that breaketh the rock in pieces?" So that's what this word is doing. All right, it's breaking down all these different strongholds, man. All right, the truth is powerful, man. Okay, and it's to the point now where it's going around, it's going out everywhere, man. All right, you know, a lot of Jake, they're into basketball, they're into football, they're into these these sports, bread and circuses. All right, so the Lord is is using these athletes, you know, to uh to push out this truth as well. All right, really ultimately for uh because his words is going to reach the four corners of the earth. Everybody is going to be a witness to this word. Okay, so if you don't take heed, you're going to be destroyed and the Lord is going to be blameless and destroy you, man, because you, you knew that you were Israelite, man. Okay, but you didn't take that initiative to uh, to go further and, and, and learn about your heritage, man. All right, so therefore the Lord is going to be blameless and putting you to death, man. All right, the Lord is going to be blameless and putting you to death for your unbelief. OK, it says, verse 28, as for faith, it shall flourish. Faith is flourishing. OK, pretty sure many people are like, man, what's what's these Israelites talking about, man? I want to I need to get into this. You know, faith is flourishing, man. All right. You know, we're no longer under that banner of being called niggas, black, Mexican. All right. Native American, Seminole Indian, man. These are those are bywords, those are proverbs and bywords, man. All right, verse twenty eight says, "As for faith, it shall flourish; corruption shall be overcome, and the truth, which have been so long without fruit, shall be declared." So this truth is being declared throughout the four corners of the earth, man. All right, so long it has been without fruit, man, but now, you know. Everybody is aware of this thing, man. All right. If you're not aware that you're, if you're not aware of the Hebrew Israelites by now, man. All right. Then you are, you are completely bugged out. But everybody is aware of this thing, man. All right. Uh, let me go to uh, Matthew. Yeah, Matthew 24. Uh, 
I think it's a beginning. Um, okay, Matthew 24 and verse 14, it says, In this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations, and then <coughs> shall the end come. You see, so this gospel is being preached you know, all right, throughout all the four corners of the earth, man. All right, via the unicorn, the uh, the YouTube, man. <coughs> you know? And I just seen a recent photo. You know, you had these small hats at the Brooklyn Nets game. All right? You know, front row with anti uh, uh anti anti-Semitic, uh, anti, it's really anti-Semitic shirts on, man. You see? So the, 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 this word is going out here, man. All right, you got these small hats, you know, trying to trying to proclaim our heritage, man. You gotta really like think about that, man. All right, here it is. Babylon uh, has a crime against identity theft, but they're doing identity theft, man, right before our very eyes. Okay, but. This earth is in the power of their hands, so they're, so they're uh, deceiving the people, man. All right, but those with the Holy Spirit, the elect, they know that they these people are imposters, man. You know, they're literally taking our heritage from us, man. They're trying to, they have, okay, but we're getting it back through the Spirit and power, Yah Bashmi Al Shai. All right, faith flourishing, the truth being declared. This is 2nd Ezra chapter 7. And starting at verse 43, it says, But the day of doom shall be the end of this time, and the beginning of it says, and the beginning of the immortality for to come, which is going to be in, in the kingdom of heaven. We're going to have that immortality. Alright. It says, Wherein corruption is past, intemperance is at an end. Infidelity is cut off. Infidelity going back to unbelief, man. It's going to be cut off, man. It says righteousness is grown and truth is sprung up. Truth is being sprung up, man. That the so-called that the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, we are the biblical Israelites, man. We are under the curses, man. All right, these small hats, they wasn't, you know, uh, the small hats, they they wasn't taken into slavery on, on cargo slave ships, man. That was the so-called black expendants and Native Americans, man. The curses fit us, man. It says, verse 45, Then shall no man be able to save him that is destroyed, nor to oppress him that have gotten the victory, man. All right, because we're going to be we're going to be the rulers, man. OK, we just got to wait on wait on your how about Shemiel Shah, man. <coughs> Pretty soon. All right. Things is going to uh, going to pop off, man, because the devil, he knows that he had but a short time. What is that? I believe that's an axe. Uh. This is 2 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 8. It says, For we can do nothing against the truth, but for the truth, man. All right? So, yeah, these small hats are going to try to combat it. You know, we're anti-Semitic, you know. But you can do nothing against this truth, man, but for it, man. All right? Because once you dig in and do the research on this thing, man, it's plain, man. It also says in uh, Micah, Micah 2 and 2, it says, Micah 2 and 1, it says, Woe, which means destruction to them that devise iniquity, that plan out iniquity, man. And that's the small hats. It says, and work evil upon their beds. When the morning is light, they practice it because it is in the power of their hands, starting with the elites, man. Amalek, man. All right. Wickedness and uh, and iniquity is in the power of their hand, man. So they're able to practice it, 
you know, day in, day out. That's why on the right hand side, we got to be uh, righteously. We, we got to be uh, we got to be doing his work, you know, pushing his word day in, day out, man. All right. Because the devil, he not he not holding up. So we can't hold up on our end. It says and they covet fields and take them by violence. That's how America was discovered. All right. By by them coveting, taking things that don't belong to them. It says in houses and take them away. So they oppress a man and his house, even a man and his heritage. And they and they took our heritage, man. And why not why not them taking our heritage, man? That's the greatest uh thing to be is a Hebrew Israelite, man. Okay? The greatest thing to be is a Hebrew Israelite. So why not them uh uh oppress and 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 steal our heritage to be the greatest people on earth, man. God's chosen people, man. Okay, but now they're being found to be liars, man. The Jews left black but came back white, man. That's the, the, see, that's a they're imposters, man. And uh, let me get this here, Joel two, and verse uh, twenty seven. It says, "And ye shall know that I am in the midst of Israel, and that I am the Lord Yahweh your God, and none else." See, he's the power of none else. You see, so of course they want to be God's chosen people, man. But that's not the case. They come from this. They come from the seed of Esau, man. All right, they didn't come from the seed of Jacob, man. Amalek came from the seed of Esau, so therefore he's hated by Yahweh by Shai. All right, and, and and we are loved by Yahweh by Shai. It says that my people shall never be ashamed. We can't be ashamed to be in the the Lord's chosen people, man. All right? The water you have about Shemel Shai, you're an Israelite, man. But it's not enough to just be an Israelite. All right? You have to be a doer of this word, man, not a hearer only. Verse 28 says, And it shall come to pass afterward that I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh, and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, and your old men shall dream dreams, and your young men shall see visions, man. So you're seeing our, our sons and our daughters, daughters having visions, you know, declaring, you know, Israelites, sons, prophets out here declaring that we're Israelites, man. The Lord is putting his spirit upon all flesh, man. So this thing is spreading like wildfire, man. You see, so with that, you know, that was pretty much the point the point being made there, man. All right. This truth is this. It's a mass awakening going on, man. All right. Which is prophecy, man. We're in a time of prophecy. We're in a time of Yahweh Bashim Shai turning things up. And that's what the Lord is doing. The Lord is turning things up on, 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 on the spiritual end, man. With this mass awakening, man. You see? And with this mass awakening, people are awakening that they're Hebrew Israelites. All right, then persecution is going to come, man. And that's how the Lord also is going to weed out the undesirables, man. With this persecution that's coming. Okay, because you got to remember, all right, when we, we uh, I don't want to roughly paraphrase. Let me just bring it out here. Revelation 10, 10 and 10. Yep. Revelation 10, verse 10, it says, And I took the little book out of the angel's hand, which is the scriptures, and ate it up. And it was in my mouth, sweet as honey. And as soon as I had eaten it, my belly was bitter. All right, so you first come into this truth, it's sweet. I'm an Israelite. I'm God's chosen people. The kingdom of heaven is for us. So-called white people are going to be our slaves. All right, but the bitter end, the persecution. All right, patience, endurance, waiting for your house shy, man. So the Lord is going to, going to weed out the undesirables. All right, e even in this mass awakening, man. All right, through this persecution. All right, through the waiting process, man. All right, patience go back into endurance, man. Suffering. All right, so with that, you know, Lord willing, this video is edifying. I'm gonna close and give all praise, honor, and glory due unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakhar Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace and mercy to the house of David. Lord willing, this video is edifying to the elect of the nation of Israel. And with that, I'm going to say Shalom and a Baba Ball. Shalom.